Hi guys, welcome back to my image. This week I'm doing a combined thrift haul. Now these items are, you know, if I go and do a drop off for donations or I make a random stop on my way home, then I'd probably find one or two pieces or a one off item and I don't do it as a separate video. So I just wanted to bring you guys up to date on some of the other things that I've collected just to show you what my interest has been varying towards because there's a definite interest <laughs> um, so I wanted to show you what I've got if this is your first time hi my name is Rache I'm a lover of fashion the business of fashion I'm also a little obsessed with vintage which you'll definitely see today from some of the pieces that I have to show you so I'm gonna start out with accessories I have quite a few items in that category uh, and just there are two clothing items that I think you'd really like as well so stick around and let's get into the items so the first two pieces I have I found it a small uh, Salvation Army this is one I like to pop in every now and then it has some unique finds but it's rare so I did a drop off there and I found this little hat this little bucket hat the style of it looks quite twenties to me when I have it when I put it on. Um, I'll show you in a second. This is a Liz Claiborne accessories and it's hundred percent wool. And when you see it on, I just <laughs> it just reminds me of like a twenties revival type hat. And I think this is so cute. What I love about these kind of hats is you put on you know just a regular white shirt and jeans and then you throw this hat on and it's like a completely different vibe so that's what I loved with this so <laughs> so this is the first piece um, in that same store though I found a scarf which I thought fit you know it's summer and I really liked the color of it so it's this scarf here I'm trying to open it up yeah so this is what it looks like, if you can see it. But I really liked the color of the yellow. It's like a mustardy yellow and with this deep red. Um, I think it would transition nicely into the fall. Um, I'm not sure how I'd wear it yet. You know, something. <laughs> but I like the color of it and I think it definitely goes with my skin tone. And this is by, the brand is called echo i think yeah so it's echo and it's 100 percent silk so that's why i decided to grab this now the reason i said i definitely have a theme is because um on a previous trip to that same salvation army again i did a drop off i can't drop stuff off and not <laughs> do a walk around so i found uh, judith is holding my hats for me so i found these all these hats at the same store and I've been really into bucket hats. I've been really trying to just keep my face out of the sun. And, uh, you know, the bucket hat, instead of just doing a baseball hat, the bucket hat adds so much more of a style element. And so when I saw these, you'd have seen me wear this before in a previous um, thrift haul, but I didn't show you the others that I got. So this is the first one. Now, I got two of the same style. I also got it in the black. They had both this and the black there. Uh, this fits a little differently because it's smaller, but this one is 57 centimeter, and I usually go 58 or over for my big head. So, <laughs> but this also fits. It just gives it a different feel. It's not as oversized as the tan one, but when you throw it on with, you know, whatever you're wearing, a dress, whatever it looks, is such an element so I'm so glad I picked these up now I had a bit of a dilemma that day because there was a second black bucket hat <laughs> which is this one now as you can see this is more of a square top and this is the one with the like straw weave shape but this one has more of an intricate style let's see if I can bring it a little closer to you you can see so this is a little more I guess formal but it does give a at a different shape than the other one so <laughs> this is the next black bucket hat which I also really liked so I kept both of them so I've been really into the bucket hat 
But now I'm thinking I should look for more hats uh, for fall. So I went ham on hats. So now I'm I'm looking into other type of hats. It's got me on a vintage hat <laughs> lookout. So now hats are one of my wishes items for when I go out. I'll keep my eye out for some really, you know, awesome vintage hats. <laughs> now the next item, I didn't actually find this out thrifting. I found this on Poshmark. And this is this nice little eggplanty pouch and you can see you know it's very much Bottega Veneta vibes both in the color and in the weave just to bring it a little closer um it's a little it's looking a little more brown but it has a bit of a um wine like burgundy bordeaux type color in it and uh, this is what this looks like this is what the inside looks like. It has one zip pocket on the back here and it is by Myers USA. I'm not sure if it will focus. Yeah. And it also has a crossbody strap. More than likely, I'll take it as just a clutch as you would with the Tega Veneta. And I just thought this was such a good find. It's, it's genuine leather as well. So it's really good quality and this was such a cute find and I love the color, especially for fall coming up. So I think this will be a good one for fall. Going into the clothing items, I recently got a lot of oversized men's shirts. Um, I love just wearing them long, cuffing the sleeves and, you know, just accessorizing with them. But I also found this. This was at a separate um, Salvation Army. It still has the tag on um, this was like three dollars but what I liked one was the pocket here and how long the sleeves were so when you look on it on the sleeves literally come right by your bust and when I saw this I thought this would have been a really good one to crop it's a really long shirt but I think I want to crop it um, that's that was my vision when I saw it and so, I don't know. This is by Neil, Neil Allen. And this is a men's size small. So, men's size small, but oversized enough on me. So, I think I wanted to try it. And, you know, the best, when you want to do DIY stuff, the thrift store is the best place to really go get it. You know, low risk. And so, if you mess up, it's, it's not too hard. <laughs> on your pride when you know okay you know you just spent a few dollars on it you can like play around as much so i'd love to see what it is like when i cut it the final item i have is this vintage slip and i just thought this would be really cute for layering it has a little lace here and a little bow um and it's just like a double spaghetti strap type thing I love how it's like nice pleated and it like flares out and this I went back to the my unique um, I just thought I didn't look in all the categories as best as possible this was actually in like the what do you call it loungewear um, sleeper section this is by Vanity Fair it's a size small and so this is the only thing that I had found when I went back so I didn't do a come thrift with me for that so this is my haul I'm gonna style the two clothing pieces for you and then you can see exactly what I had in mind when I picked these up <laughs> so first up is the shirt and I have cropped it uh, I forgot to try it on to show you how long it was but it was about here it could have been easily been a dress so I just took the scissors chop it right across and I do love how it hits and how it looks and just sticking with like a straight to wide leg silhouette I think this is a nice balance and it definitely fits um, my shape specifically paired it with this pants from 11 sis and I've just kept it casual with uh, flat sandals and I think this gives us a nice easy going look for you know the summer 
keeping it elevated but casual. And then just to show you what it looks like if I threw one of my bucket hats on. Uh, playing with brown tones, earthy tones. Um, of course, my little vintage Bottega-esque clutch to finish the look. And this is how I'd style this shirt. Now, because of the silhouette, I put these on um, because I wanted to style the back for you, but you know, this could go with black, it could go with denim. Um, so since I have a few pieces, I'll just show you what this looks like in different color schemes. Um, and just to show you, as long as I have the silhouette in mind that goes with this kind of crop shirt, I could change the bottoms out to different colors with just, you know, but keeping the same theme in the silhouette. So I swapped out the burgundy uh, color scheme just to do black. I've kept on the same sandals, still keeping it quite casual. I changed into the black bucket hat and I've just added my uh, vintage Louis Vuitton Speedy in the black epi. And, you know, same, same, but different. It's still the same silhouette, but it still works with this shirt. Um, so if you just wanted to keep it nice and relaxed, and like I said, elevated casual, it also works if you just want to go, you know, simple black and white as well. I'll show you one more look with this shirt. So of course I wanted to do this in a jeans look, you know, a shirt, a white shirt, a denim is a classic. I've thrown on my rib cage Levi's, and of course it has that uh, fitted into like a wide leg um, silhouette as of the other two pants. So I know automatically it would have worked for this look as well. And I wanted to make it a little more colorful. I put on my silk scarf and I just added my vintage Prada Galeria bag. And I've kept again the sandals on. It's still a nice casual elevated look. So there are many ways for this shirt to work. So, and just a simple little chop, it makes it so much more wearable. And with any of these looks, you can take it even more elevated by throwing heels on. I just thought I wanted to um, throw sandals on cause, and make it just a very casual day look, uh, but very elevated either with my hat or my silk scarf. Um, so definitely happy with this shirt and with my, my little DIY. So yeah, I definitely really like the length of the sleeves and the pocket with the crop. So <laughs> that was my vision. So I'm so glad it worked out. <laughs> so this is a vintage slip and you can see the pleating here and there's like a little bow on it and you can see the little lace detail on it, which I think is so cute. I added this Marnie t-shirt just for this little pop of um, random polka dots for interest in a little color and I could go really sweet with this by just pairing it with heels and my little vintage bag. I love this bag so much. It's just one of those little pop, you know, pop closures, uh, very vintage bags, but I thought this would be nice and cute. Definitely goes with this kind of look. So if I wanted to just keep it nice and simple, this is the third of those bucket hats with the more intricate, more feminine um, details on it. So this is how I'd style this vintage, whether it's a nightgown or lingerie, I'm not so sure, but this is how I'd style this for a sweeter look. So to make it a little more casual, I grabbed a bigger bag. Bigger bags usually say daytime. <laughs> And then I also throw on these cowboy boots by Code West. I love the details on these boots. And, you know, I don't get to wear them often enough, but every now and then a look inspires me and I'm like, yes, finally. And this is so fun to style. So I'm glad I got this as well. So I love how all the pieces are working well with <laughs> my wardrobe and my styles. And I always love these you know unique vintage styles so i'm just really happy for all these pieces that i got so i hope you enjoyed how i styled these let me know in the comment section what was your favorite thing about these looks so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you liked my combined thrift haul i'm very much into hats let me know in the comment section below if you liked my styling i love your guys feedback on um how i style my pieces also let me know if you're also into hats because I think hats are now my new obsession. Uh, I, I don't know where this came from. <laughs>
Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'd love for you to join the family. As well, don't forget to like the video if you did like it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.